Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. There are certain things that go together. A hand and a glove. Peanut butter and jelly. A car and its wheels. A non-cloudy day and sunshine. Receiving forgiveness from God and not bestowing that forgiveness to others. What? (laughs) Now remember, we're in Matthew chapter 18, and Jesus told this parable about a man, a servant who owed the king, the master, millions of dollars. And the king, the master, decided to cancel the debt. Then there was a fellow servant that owed him 20 bucks, and he wouldn't cancel the debt. And other servants saw that and thought, hmm, this isn't right. Shouldn't the two go together? If your debt has been canceled, don't you cancel the debts of others? So we pick up the story in verse 31. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should you not have mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in his anger, the master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from the heart. Man, did you hear the corresponding element of forgiveness received and forgiveness bestowed of the debt being canceled by God and the debt of others being canceled by us. There is a corresponding agent to that, that we need to pay attention to. Jesus said it this way in a different part of scripture. He said, if you do not forgive the sins of others, neither will my heavenly father forgive you. But if you do forgive the sins of others, so will my heavenly father forgive you. It goes together like peanut butter and jelly, like a hand in a glove. Forgiveness of this debt that we've received from God and the comparatively insignificant debt that is owed to us from the sins of others must be forgiven. God is forgiven, we forgive. God is pardoned, we pardon. That's the corresponding element. That's what is to take place. Now, Jesus says in this parable, if that doesn't happen, what happened to the servant? He was thrown in jail until he could pay back the debt. Basically, that's what happens to people who are unwilling to forgive those who have offended them when they receive this incredible debt canceled by God. There's a corresponding element. And if we can't forgive, that means that our faith relationship with Jesus is ineffective and really isn't there because forgiveness understood and appreciated that we have towards God of that forgiveness that we received enables, empowers, motivates us to forgive others from the heart. That's what Jesus is saying here. We say it in the Lord's Prayer, don't we? In the Lord's Prayer, what does it say? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgiveness received from God, forgiveness bestowed. So what I'd want you to think about today is who is it in your life that is in need of your forgiveness? It might be a great offense. It might be a small offense. But as we said yesterday, there's no other way to live. You want to travel light through life. So receiving that forgiveness from God, bestow that forgiveness to others and have a great day doing it because your load will be lightened, your conscience will be clear, your heart will be enabled to truly be light because you've conveyed the forgiveness that you received from God in Christ and now you're traveling light. So that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If you feel led, would you consider giving to this ministry? Your tax-deductible donation helps us continue sharing the gospel with as many people as possible. Simply click the link in the description below. So come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.